safe to say that when engineers have an idea in their head about a super cool new project, they want to get it out into reality as fast as possible. When it comes to IoT designs, whether they are industrial applications or consumer designs, open source strategies, robust development tools, and cloud integration capabilities can go a long way to getting those brilliant plans from the idea stage to prototyping and finally to full-on production and scaling. One platform that can help you get your next IoT design into reality and up and running in the real world is the Arduino Portenta C33. And that's exactly what we're talking about today. Hi, I'm Amelia Dalton, host of Chalk Talk. In this episode of Chalk Talk, Marta Barbero from Arduino, Robert Nolf from Renaissance, and I explore the Portenta C33 module that can help you develop cost-effective real-time applications. We also examine how the Arduino ecosystem supports innovation throughout the development life cycle and the benefits that the RA6M5 microcontroller from Renaissance brings to this solution. And before we get started, don't forget to click that link. There you can find even more information about this topic from Arduino. Hi, Marta. Thank you so much for joining me. Hello, it's a pleasure for me to be here today. Excellent. And hi, Robert. Thank you for joining me. Yeah, hi, Amelia. Okay, so Marta, we're talking about the Portenta C33, which will help us develop cost-effective real-time applications. But before we dig into the details, tell me more about Arduino Pro. It was launched back in 2020, right? Yeah, exactly. I guess most of you already know Arduino, but just to say a few of its history, Arduino was born in 2008. And since the beginning, it has started offering in the market a full range of solutions able to simplify the use of technology. So from hardware to software, keeping in mind the open source approach, which is one of its, let's say, main differentiator in the market. And this is where exactly the Arduino Pro story started around a couple of years ago. There were plenty of obvious in the world that we figured out that there were really a lot and they were all working with Arduino. But these obvious were maybe also developers or hardware engineers in some companies. And so the question we started asking ourselves was, why don't we bring this technology simplification also in the enterprise business, starting from prototyping up to serious production? And why don't we try to democratize technology even more? And actually, the reaction of the market was amazing since the beginning in 2020. And as a consequence, in 2022, we reached a 98% year-to-year growth of the pro business. And the current situation of 2023 is that more than 2,000 enterprise companies are currently using pro products in their solution. So we are really happy for that. Absolutely. Now, Marta, what kind of solutions are included in the Arduino Pro portfolio? So basically, Arduino Pro portfolio includes a full range of solutions, starting from hardware up to software and cloud. So speaking about the hardware, we have multiple solutions like our Nikla family, which is dedicated to smart sensing, thanks to its low power capabilities and also the really tiny form factor because basically these boards have the same size of a post stamp. So really, really small. And going on, the Portenta system of module solutions, which are including, for instance, the Portenta C33 we are going to speak about in a few minutes. And all of them are still low power boards, but with really high computing power and industrial grade, the security features. Last but not least, we also offer turnkey solutions like our Opta or our Potenta machine control, which are vertical solutions for the industrial automation, building automation world, and they are ready to be installed exactly as they are. So going forward, the hardware offer is supported by a range of software solutions, including development tools to easily program all our boards, like the Arduino IDE or the Arduino CLI, which are really, really popular already. Then the cloud integration, 
uh, with our own Arduino cloud or other third-party clouds, for instance, AWS, Azure, and so on and so forth. And of course, tons of ready-to-use tutorials and documentation and a full community that is supporting us on the web. And this is perfectly in line with the open source approach Arduino is well known for. Excellent. Now, Marta, I would imagine that there are quite a few different markets that could take advantage of the benefits of the Arduino Pro. Yeah, definitely. That's correct. And there are plenty of market verticals, which we already developed solution for, starting, for instance, from manufacturing or industry for the zero, like process automation, quality control, preventive maintenance, then going forward with building automation. So think about energy monitoring, access control systems, environmental sensing, transportation and mobility, like fleet management and asset tracking, smart cities, smart agriculture, for which we developed actually a dedicated solutions like our edge control. So there are plenty of opportunities out there for the Arduino Pro products and our customers are well aware of that. Okay, so Marta, you mentioned that Arduino can help engineers innovate and scale faster. Can you talk about exactly how they can do that? Of course. So starting from the first ideation phase in which we are in contact with the customers to support them in understanding how to properly integrate Arduino products in their solution. Going forward uh, in the prototyping phase, Arduino proposes a full range of development kits and also tons of libraries and documentation to enable the customer to get started with their project without friction. So you can get a board, a carrier, combine them together, leverage our Arduino ID, and you will be ready to go to the scale production. So from that, the customer can easily proceed integrating all our solutions in their serious production, still leveraging the Arduino Pro products since they are really, really modular, fully certified and in line with the industrial grade uh, requirements of the enterprise market. And eventually in case they are going forward with even higher value, we help them in migrating their solution to a custom solution of their choice. Fantastic. Now, how can customers get the best advantage from your system on modules? Well, let's say that the sweet spot for system or module solutions is usually between uh, 1,000 and 50,000 units as volume, because in that range, the modularity that assisted on module guarantees is fundamental and really cost effective. If the customer volume then is increasing more than that range, the customer can definitely decide to proceed with the chip down design and develop a custom solution, but still getting with a special kind of agreement with us, full support from Arduino uh, for the licensing part of the developed firmware and also to guarantee that the firmware and the production process is still compatible with what they had for lower volumes. And this approach is exactly in line with the no vendor lock-in mindset that Arduino has. Because on one side, we propose a system of modules, including actually different silicon vendors chips in them. And on the other side, we enable chip down design for all the customers that would like to proceed in this way. And the cloud can actually be there for all the different kinds of situations. Fantastic. Okay, so Marta, let's get into some of the details about the Portenta C33. Definitely. So Portenta C33 is actually the most cost-effective system of module of Arduino Pro offer right now. It includes the microcontroller RA6M5 from Renaissance. Robert will explain it to you in details later, together with Wi-Fi and Bluetooth connectivity. So making the Portenta C33 actually the ideal solution for IoT applications, like for instance, remote control system, fleet management, IoT gateways, and so on and so forth. In addition to that, it comes with tons of compatible libraries to simplify the programming experience of all the product features. And it is also programmable with other types of programming languages, like for instance, MicroPython, if a customer is not familiar with the standard C language typical of the Arduino environment. Last but not least, it is compatible with Arduino Cloud. This means that any user can actually implement over the air updates from remote without being actually close to the board whenever they want. Cool. Okay. So can you tell me about the technical aspects of this solution? 
Definitely. So as I was saying, the product integrates the RA6 M5 microcontroller, which is an M33 microcontroller, uh, then Wi-Fi and Bluetooth connectivity, a USB port that is really high speed and it enables any user to perform power supply and programming. And it can also be used fully standalone with a battery connected to it. In addition to that, it includes also 16 megabytes of flash in order to store all the different sketches that the user may develop and all the different projects. A secure element to store all the certificates, security certificates, an Ethernet chip to connect the board to Ethernet connectivity. But in that case, you need a specific carrier with an Ethernet connector on it. And on the other side of the board, on the bottom, you can find the identity connectors to plug the board to any compatible carrier because these identity connectors are exposing all the microcontroller peripherals and also castellated pins. So these are really important for all the customers that would like to solder the board to a custom carrier through, for instance, SMD soldering process. Okay, so Robert, let's switch gears and talk about the microcontroller at the heart of this solution. Yeah, thank you, Emilia. The um, Array family basically is a hardware which is based on the ARM Cortex-M cores. So we are going from the Array 2 series, which are using the Cortex-M23 with up to 48 megahertz operating frequency. Then we have the Array 4 series with Cortex-M33 going up to 100 megahertz. And now the flagship series are the Array 6 series with Cortex M33 up to 200 megahertz. So these are really very powerful systems. And by the way, we're talking about Portenta, but the RA4 is being used in the UNO services now from Arduino as well. So the three series consist of a very huge lineup of devices with integrated flash from 32K up to two megabytes and up to 640 kilobytes of on-chip RAM. The, all the devices, they have also data flash, so there's no need for e square on your boards anymore to store parameters permanently. And also the lineup of the devices have the options from very small 25 pin WL BGA up to 176 pin LQFP. This to allow all the peripherals and all the GPIOs and all the additional pins coming out of the device to be able to be controlled to the outside. The devices are all compatible in peripheral function. So there's quite easy porting if you start with a certain device and you notice you need to have other peripherals or different memory, then it is very simple to scale up and also for maximum reuse between projects. Now going to the Portenta C33, PGA package has been chosen with two megabytes of flash and 640 kilobytes of RAM. So a really big device. Okay, so can you talk a bit about the integrated memory aspect of this solution? Yeah, as mentioned, the RA6M5 group is really the flagship device, and it integrates really a high-performance ARM Cortex-M33, which is now based on the latest ARM V8 M architecture. The integrated 2 megabyte dual bank flash with background operation is specifically designed for firmware updates in the field. This is what Marta also mentioned before, the Portenta C33 is meant to be connected into the cloud. And by having this dual bank flash of the microcontroller, it is quite easy to do in the field updates of the firmware. And it's been specifically designed to be able to flip between the two banks without losing any time. This is specific and very necessary in certain applications that there is no dead time between switching banks. The large 512K SRAM is perfect for memory-hungry communication stacks. And the RAM also, or a certain portion of the RAM, has error correction circuit, ECC, which is a requirement in functional safety. So basically, with the integrated data flash, the flash itself for your microcontroller use or your uh, program use, and other storage of your parameters, you're quite set with this device. So, Robert, what kind of communications options do we have here? Well, as the slide shows, we have tons of stuff on there. So also because Arduino have chosen for the largest device with all the peripherals connected to the outside, they basically need also a carrier board to be able to bring all these systems to the outside. But nevertheless, the device comes with Ethernet, 
It has HDHI. It has also an HDMI CEC, which is a one-wire video. It has SPI. It has Quad SPI and Octa SPI for memory access. It uses also USB high speed and full speed. And as mentioned, tons of GPIOs that can be used to control certain peripherals, which are just needing a one or zero. So, Marta, a development board is only good as its ecosystem, right? So tell me more about the ecosystem for the Portenta C33. So basically, the Portenta C33 comes as a part of the Portenta family ecosystem. This means that thanks to its high-density connectors at the bottom of the board, it is actually compatible with multiple shields and carriers, adding new features to the board, like, for instance, connectivity, including like cellular, LoRa connectivity with our shields or carriers, then audio support, so we can have dedicated audio jacks in order to plug any microphone or headphones. Feedback protocol support, like for instance, CAN or RS485. Easy access to Portenta C33 features through dedicated connectors that are ready to use, like Ethernet or USB, microSD. And last but not least, a full range of carriers that allow the user to rapid access all the IOs to connect any sensor or device to the board and directly interact with it. So what about industrial IoT applications? Would the Portenta C33 be a good fit for these kind of applications? Of course, it's the ideal solution for industrial IoT. And now I can share with you some application examples that we see with our Portenta C33. Starting, for instance, from predicting maintenance. So imagine to have an industrial machine like a cartoning machine that you can see here in the slides, including some of our NICLA sensor boards directly in it. These NICLA sensors, since they have sensors on them, they are able to detect different kinds of features, for instance, temperature, noise, vibration, or check for some visual defects during the production process. So the NICLA at this point can send all the data they are acquiring from the machine to the Portenta C33 that is acting as a gateway. And so collecting the data from the NICLA through Bluetooth or Wi-Fi connectivity and then processing them on the edge and share these data with the cloud so that the user can check data trends, alarms in case of malfunctioning of the machine and get notified in real time to perform on-time intervention to the device, uh, avoiding production loss, of course. Going forward, another interesting application is machine control and actuation. So now think about an industrial machine like an industrial food processing machine. By integrating a Portenta C33 with a carrier into the machine, we can control its motion, check the levels, the flow of the food, and even keep track of the time that is passing during the full processing. And the C33, can then connect to the cloud through Ethernet or Wi-Fi connectivity to perform remote condition monitoring on that machine or even remotely actuate it in case of need. Everything from the cloud. So what about energy consumption monitoring? Could that kind of application work with the Portenta C33? Of course. So Portenta C33 is also an ideal solution for energy consumption monitoring. We can build an energy meter with Portenta C33 and a carrier and include it in any electrical cabinet to be able to track uh, appliances consumption in a smart home or buildings. You can even check on our website on docs.arduino.cc how to build your own energy meter based on Portenta C33. So in that case, the Portenta C33 will collect all the data from the appliances and then we can definitely monitor all this data from the cloud. So at the end, we would be able to predict the cost of the next energy build and decide, based on all this data, how to improve the energy consumption of our home or building. I know that also Renes has has some interesting energy monitoring solution, right, Robert? Yeah, that's correct. So we basically have also a ton of Shunt and Rogowski coil systems that can act as sensors for your energy meter carrier, uh, system using the Portenta C33, which is that able to have energy meter 
and going even further, uh, building this whole thing into an EV charging appliance. So measuring the DC current going to the car up to 400 amps can easily be measured. And on the AC side, measuring either the uh, single phase or three phase AC current coming into the system, measuring using shunts or using Rogovsky coil based sensors. So we are not coming with the bulky coils that are going around the cables. We just have a simple small device, which is in four by four millimeter that can sit on the cable and basically measures the uh, current going through it. All right. So Marta, if my audience is ready to get started using the Portenta C33, what kind of supporting assets do you guys have? Well, we have plenty, as I was saying. You will find a lot of documentation on our website, docs.arduino.cc, and any kind of support on our forum or help center. We have a really great and active community which stands behind all our solutions, including the Portenta C33. And then, of course, if you have any question or you are starting thinking about integrating a Portenta C33 or any other Arduino solution in your project, feel free to contact us. We are really looking forward to helping you in getting started without friction. Fantastic. This was super cool. Thank you so much for joining me, Marta. Thanks a lot to you, Amelia. And thank you for joining me, Robert. Glad to be there. And before we go, you didn't forget to click that link, did you? There you can find even more information about this topic from Arduino. For Chalk Talks, I'm Amelia Dalton from eejournal.com. For more Chalk Talks, head on over to the Chalk Talks section of EE Journal. You can't miss it, it's right across the top. Or head on over to YouTube, youtube.com slash EE